We developed a method to synthesize game levels that accounts for the degree of collaboration required by two players to finish a given game level. By using our method, a game designer first creates playable game level chunks. Next, two artificial intelligence virtual agents driven by behavior trees were instructed to play each game level chunk. In this game level chunk, players can open and close a cage by touching a button. One player is responsible for controlling the cage, while the other is responsible for directing the enemies to the cage. Only once the players trap all enemies in the cage does the exit door of this game level chunk open. In this game level chunk, the players should grab the chest together and move it to the designated place to open the exit door. Here, a player must carry the board and place it in a suitable place to form a bridge. When a player reaches the red zone, the exit door of this game level chunk opens. In this game level chunk, a player should touch the pumpkin to open the exit. For the game level synthesis, cost terms that encode the degree of collaboration, including the mean degree of collaboration required to complete the synthesized game level, the variation of the degree of collaboration that is introduced in the synthesized game level, and the progress of the degree of collaboration along the game level's chunks, and game level design decisions, including the size of the game level and repetition between adjacent chunks were assigned in a total cost function. Later, the game level design problem is solved using an optimization-based method called simulated annealing. To evaluate our method, Three game levels encoding low, medium, and high degree of collaboration were synthesized automatically and groups of participants were asked to play the game levels. In this example, two players are playing a game level with low degree of collaboration target. Here, they are playing a game level with high degree of collaboration target. By collecting both in-game objective measurements and self-reported subjective ratings, we found that indeed the three different game levels impacted the collaboration gameplay behavior of our participants. Moreover, by analyzing our collected data, we found moderate and strong correlations between the participants and the AI virtual agents showing that the AI virtual agents can be considered as an alternative method for evaluating the degree of collaboration required to finish a game level. For more details, please refer to the paper. This is the end of the video.